Okay, hi guys, just had some breaking news come out in regard to the vaccine. Uh, just gonna jump straight in at the charts. You can see here DAX on the left, now up 750 points. The S&P 500 has smashed through 3,600. Uh, and in fact, in terms of the S&P 500 here now, we are in all-time high territory. We've broken through that peak that we saw at the beginning of September, and we've just printed up now at 36.51 and a quarter. So fresh all-time highs now in US indices. Gold getting hit, and also the US 10-year down at the bottom corner here as well, under quite a lot of pressure. Here, you can see the US 10-year has fallen the best part of a full point. In terms of gold prices, we've also come under extreme pressure here, breaking through that key support level we we're looking at this morning. So you've seen a decent 65 type dollar move now in gold futures and WTI crude spiking more than 7% of the upside to get close to $41, which was the high that we saw back up at around mid to late October. Why is all this happening? Vaccine news has just come out and here it is, here are the headlines. Pfizer vaccine prevents 90% of COVID infections in a large study is being reported on the financial news wires. Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine two month safety data is due in about a week and phase three trials so shows no serious safety issues. The market is loving these headlines. Person who's not of course is Donald Trump because after the market rally last week led by the Biden victory and the kind of split Congress and the notion of probably a lack of real fast change on any policies coming through from Biden, now there's positive vaccine news. So interestingly, when you're looking at these charts, the one equity index which is underperforming this move is the NASDAQ. If you look here, the NASDAQ momentarily spiked up and has started to sell off and it's sold off here to quite a key technical level we we're looking at this morning. You can see from this rectangle I've had marked up from the previous highs that were going into the election to the gap up that we saw at the recommencement of trade overnight, we've come back and touched that level before a bit of a bounce. Reason why the NASDAQ is bucking the trend, obviously these big mega cap tech names tend to benefit from a pandemic situation over the rest of the broader market. They're just better equipped for that type of environment as we've seen since the onset of the pandemic right at the back of the beginning of the year. This is well in context of that phenomenal run up. We've seen the NASDAQ, of course, outperform, led by those big cap tech names. Then a little bit of unwinding of that trade intraday makes sense on the back of those headlines. So I don't think this changes the longer term picture. I still think tech is looking good uh, for the foreseeable future, but in the day trading environment, certainly uh, short term rotation out of some of those tech names, fueling elsewhere then the likes of the S&P and so on. Oil's arguably seen the biggest move, of course, as we just saw, a more than 7% rally. It's found a bit of resistance around that previous price points of significance around just shy of the $41 handle in the futures. So yeah, breaking news, just wanted to share that with you. We're gonna be covering it in extensive detail throughout the rest of the session, particularly the US Open on Amplify Live. So check out the link um, in the description of the video if you're seeing it there and you can uh, listen to us commentate over this and, and share the trades that the guys are doing uh, in real time. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And yeah, another positive uh, development for markets and for, for Joe Biden, it would appear on the surface. I guess the final thing I would say is just be careful. If you're just coming in and seeing this move late, don't get caught trying to just trade into a move that's already largely developed. Um, because you could be chasing something where the moves already uh, kind of happened at this point in time. I'd say better thing to do is just wait now. Let's wait for the US Open uh, in a couple of hours and let's see what happens at the Open on the New York Stock Exchange later. Okay, guys, have a good day.